Our adventure today takes us to Rock Creek Shelter, which is a, a really neat place where the Native Americans would come periodically to hunt goats and gather berries, etc. It's a cave formation in the side of uh, a mountainous area where they had shelter at this beautiful creek. We're passing over this river here again this morning. In the morning light, it looks much different, but very, very nice. Looking forward to this hike today. Come along with us. The first part of our hike took us through the Trail of the Cedars, which on its own is about a half a mile loop that brings you through this younger forest here. Since it's closer to the river, the really big trees don't grow here. But around on the back of the loop, you'll see some giant cedars, hemlocks, and Douglas firs. This trail follows the river for several hundred yards. On a hot day, you can walk down onto the rocks and cool your feet off if you want. Where the trail loops around right here, you'll come up to a waterworks building where they control a dam and the flow of water. The fallen trees are an important part of this ecosystem as they become nurse logs and you'll see several instances where trees are growing out of the decaying logs. After the waterworks building, you'll see a forest road that goes off to the right. To get to the rock shelter trail, you follow this road in for about a tenth of a mile, and then you'll continue up the trail here does get a bit steep for about 100 yards, but certainly doable. And there's a nice bench at the top there where you can rest if you need to. On the day we hiked this trail, it was quite breezy. We enjoyed sitting on the bench and watching the trees just rocks ever so gently. The trail here is nice and gravel, but as you can see, when you fork off, it gets narrower and less traversed. There's a large fire here in 2015, and seven years later, you can see how the forest is coming back to life. We've seen this so much out west. It's just fascinating. This is a nice boardwalk they built leading up to the Rock Creek's shelter. 
It really gives you a sense of entering a solemn place. You can see in the proximity to the water, it was a great place for the first peoples to settle down for the season and they would go up into the mountains, hunt mountain goats, collect berries, have their fires, cook here, utilize the water from the river right down the hill. It's not a big shelter, but it was very protected and allowed them some safety from predators and any warring tribes. There's some informative placards here which show you what life might have been like for the native peoples using these shelters. This one in particular was used for over 1200 years. Archaeologists have been able to date the bones and seeds and charcoal here and determined that it was used for quite a long time. was a great depiction of one of the men bringing back a goat. The upper Skagits still live in the area and consider this a sacred site. This is looking down from the shelter area towards New Halem Creek, which was just running so clear in late August 2022. There's a wonderful flat rock which we envisioned having children out playing on throughout the day. back down to the split and took the much narrower path that takes us right down to the creek. Well, not down to the creek, but overlooking the creek. We really wanted to get our feet in the water, but the bank was so steep. This is a very narrow path with trees littering parts of it that we had to climb over. It's so worth it. Again, more evidence of the fire damage from 2015. But a little bushwhacking brings you out to this beautiful, beautiful river. So clear and looks blue due to the reflection of the silt from the mountains and the glaciers.
about 60 feet, just about straight down to the river. Even in August, it was still running pretty hard, despite the lack of rain out here. 